everyone. Today I'm talking to you about PyCoin versus Bitcoin, a look at their future growth potential. I've done some videos and I've informed you about PyCoin in recent time. When Bitcoin was rising, I did not have opportunity to inform you because I also did not know about it. But today we all know about the PyCoin and it is good that we take advantage of it. And that is why in this video, I am looking at making a comparison of PyCoin and Bitcoin. What is their future growth potential? How did, Pi, how did Bitcoin make it? And how is PyCoin going to make it as projections have it? Cryptocurrency has evolved significantly. And in fact, today, in the United States, they held a crypto rally or a crypto conference so to say right being hosted by donald trump the president of the united states so what that means is that other countries are going to take suit follow suit in some countries they have bitco and um, bitcoin or crypto atms where you can go and get your crypto from in nigeria also there are crypto exchanges that have been registered and some are unregistered so in nigeria cryptocurrency is not is not prohibited it's not prohibited because there are registered crypto exchanges registered by the government of nigeria right here in nigeria so anywhere you are in the world i'm looking at again the pi coin versus bitcoin a look at their future growth potential so as I was saying that cryptocurrency has evolved significantly since Bitcoin's launch in 2009. Bitcoin was the first to be launched. And 2009 to 2024 is about 15 years. So crypto is still very, very young. And um, whatever you have missed in terms of Bitcoin, you can get it in terms of other crypto coins or crypto assets. So with new digital assets emerging to challenge dominance. So the dominance of Bitcoin is being challenged by others. Ethereum tried to challenge it. Now we are looking at PyCoin. One such competitor today is PyCoin. And the advantage of PyCoin is that it is a mobile mind. It is a mobile mind cryptocurrency that has gained a massive following since its inception in 2019. So it just started about 10 years after Bitcoin. That's Bitcoin started in 2009. PyCoin started in 2019. That's the mining. And then the launch took place this very year, 2025, February 20. Many crypto enthusiasts wonder, can PyCoin compete with Bitcoin in the long run? They also ask the question, I will... Will Pi's future growth be as explosive as Bitcoin's? They also ask that is Pi coin just another overhyped digital asset? Let's take a deep dive into the potential of Pi coin versus Bitcoin in terms of growth, adoption, and also in terms of utility. I'm going to now look at a, bit, a brief overview of Bitcoin and also a brief overview of PyCoin. Bitcoin, also referred to as BTC, is the pioneer of cryptocurrency. So as some people call it the Baba, the Baba of cryptocurrency, the Papa of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is the first decentralized cryptocurrency created by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2009. It introduced blockchain technology, enabling peer-to-peer -peer transactions without the need for banks. BTC's fixed supply of 21 million coins has helped it gain value over time, making it the most dominant crypto asset today. What about PyCoin? PyCoin is socially driven crypto. It is at the moment socially driven. PyCoin started in 2019 and it was created by a group of Stanford PhD graduates. Unlike Bitcoin, Pi was designed to be mined on mobile phones. That is a major advantage of Pi. It is designed to be mined on your mobile device. That is why I so much have hope in Pi coin. 
Without energy-intensive proof of work, in the case of Bitcoin, you need energy-intensive proof of work. You use a lot of electricity, electric power. Instead, Pipecoin relies on a trust-based consensus algorithm. It remained in its enclosed mainnet phase for years before finally being listed on exchanges in February 2020 at $3.40 per Pi. Now, Pi is tradable on some exchanges. Though on Binance, Pi is not tradable yet, but we are looking forward that in the next few days, Pi is going to be tradable also on Binance. Now, can Pi compete with Bitcoin's dominance in the long run? That is what we want to look at. Now, let's look at the supply and scarcity. Which one has more growth potential? Bitcoin is fixed and deflationary. Bitcoin has a strictly limited supply of 21 million coins, making it scarce and valuable over time. Every four years, Bitcoin undergoes a halving event, it is the number of new coins entering circulation. This scarcity has fueled Bitcoin's price appreciation, leading to massive returns for early adopters. That is what I want to do with PyCoin 2. That's why in my previous video, I said if you are unable to mine PyCoin properly, go ahead and buy PyCoin now and keep it if you have the means. Don't look at me that I have a lot of PyCoin. Like somebody saw me and said, ah, I have Bitcoin, I have this. I don't have all of those things. But I'm making content and getting some change, which I'm using also to accumulate and to do some things. Now, PyCoin lacks supply but deflationary factors. So, PyCoin, unlike Bitcoin, does not have a fixed supply cap. However, the Pi Network team has hinted that some Pi will be burned over time through transaction fees, making it deflationary in nature. The number of Pi miners, which are also referred to as pioneers, also affects supply distribution. But it remains uncertain how scarcity will play a role in Pi's long-term value. Now, what is the verdict on this? Bitcoin's strictly limited supply gives it a strong edge over PyCoin in terms of scarcity-driven value appreciation. However, if Pi Network controls inflation properly, it could still see significant price increases. Let's look at the adoption and reward uses of both or reward use cases. Bitcoin is digital gold. Bitcoin has been widely accepted as digital gold, with major institutions, governments, and businesses recognizing it as a store of value. Some companies even allow Bitcoin payments, and it's used in cross-border transactions, investment portfolios, and even inflation hedging. Pycoin, on the other hand, is socially driven cryptocurrency. At the moment, it's just Pycoin is still young. Is still at its infancy stage. Pi network success relies on mass adoption through mobile mining. With over 47 million users, Pi has built a strong global community. However, real-world use cases remain limited, as businesses are still hesitant to accept Pi due to its uncertain value and regulatory challenges. I think these regulatory challenges also affect its presence on major exchanges at the moment. Though some are saying that no, they can do without exchanges. How can they do without exchanges? How can they? Now, what is the verdict on this? Bitcoin has stronger adoption, but if Pi's ecosystem grows and the real world businesses start <laughs> accepting it, it could gain serious traction. Now, let's look at the price growth potential. Can PyCoin follow Bitcoin's path? That is the question. Let's look at Bitcoin's past growth. In 2010, please pay attention. Pay attention. The, the growth of Bitcoin is phenomenal. In 2010, Bitcoin was worth less than $0.01. By 2017, it hit $20,000 before a major crash. In 2021, Bitcoin reached an all-time high of 69,000. Not really all-time high because currently it's trading for 90-something thousand. 
currently in 2024 2025 January 2025 Bitcoin got to 100,000 US dollars per, per coin many analysts between predict that Bitcoin could eat $200,000 or more in the next few years after the halving that took place recently Analysts have predicted a massive growth. That was when Bitcoin was about $65,000. It danced around $65,000 for a long time before it moved. So, let's look at Pi's future growth potential. Pi coin launched at $3.40 in February 2025, but quickly dropped to $0.70. Cents. Some analysts predict that if mass adoption happens, Pi could surge to $10, $100, or even beyond in the coming years. Currently, PyCoin is trading for $1.80. Others believe that without strong utility and adoption, Pi could remain a low-value token. What then is the verdict? Bitcoin has historically proven its ability to rise in value, while Pi is still in its early stages. However, if Pi's ecosystem develops strong use cases, it could experience massive growth similar to Bitcoin's early years. Now, another question is that should you invest in Bitcoin or in PyCoin? Now, let's look at the two. Why do you need to invest in Bitcoin? In, Pycoin, in Bitcoin? Bitcoin has proven track record. Bitcoin has survived multiple market circles. Then, Bitcoin has limited supply. Scarcity has driven Bitcoin's price up. Then, Bitcoin has institutional backing. Major firms and governments recognize Bitcoin. Then, Bitcoin is a hedge against inflation. BTC is often seen as digital gold. Now, those are the reasons why you should invest in, Bit in Bitcoin. Now, why do you need to invest in PyCoin? PyCoin has low entry barrier. You can buy Pi at a much lower price than Bitcoin. Then early stage investment. If Pi grows, early adopters could see huge gains. Then massive community. At 47 plus million users, that makes it one of the biggest crypto communities. So this is why you should go into Pi. Then it has potential for reward adoption. If Pi network succeeds, businesses may start accepting it. And already some businesses are, are accepting it but not all, not as much as they have accepted Bitcoin. Definitely, Bitcoin has been on much more than the case of PyCoin. And if Bitcoin leased at $3.40 and Pi listed for less than $1, much, much less than $1, even less than $0.1, that shows you the potential of, Bit of PyCoin. Now, we PyCoin surpass Bitcoin, that is the final question I want to answer. PyCoin and Bitcoin serve different purposes in the crypto ecosystem. Bitcoin is a decentralized store of value, while Pi Network is a mobile-based community-driven cryptocurrency. While Bitcoin is already an established asset, Pi's success will depend on the, the following factors. Number one, business adoption. More merchants need to accept Pi for payments. The growth and success of PyCoin also will depend on regulatory, regulatory clarity. Governments need to recognize Pi as a legitimate currency. Then, also for Pi to succeed, there is need for scarcity management. If Pi network manages supply well, its value can then increase. So, will PyCoin eat $1,000 or more? It's too early to say. But if Pi follows a similar adoption curve to Bitcoin, long-term holders could see substantial profits. This is then is my final advice for you on this channel. If you are looking for a safe long-term investment, Bitcoin is your best bet. But if you are willing to take a risk, so the more risk you can take, the more return you can get. PyCoin looks uncertain. Bitcoin looks established. So, if you are willing to take a risk on a new project, buying and holding Pi could be a gamble that is worth taking. So, there's risk and there's calculated risk, there's foolish risk and there's wise risk. 
So investing in Pipecoin is a calculated risk. It's a good one. What do you think? Will Pipecoin become the next Bitcoin? Let's discuss it in the comments section of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more crypto insights. Until I come your way in the next video, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share, and keep interacting with this video. There are more many videos on cryptocurrencies and non-cryptocurrency businesses, and I've also done videos on how you can make money online and offline. Many are contacting me already about different offline businesses and online businesses. Take the opportunity today, look at several videos on this channel, and I'm certain you will be glad you did. I make a boast. If you watch my videos for six months, non-stop, daily, one video per day in six months, your life will change for better. If it does not change, go to another channel. That means I am not the one that is sent to change your life for better. But I'm sure of what I'm saying that your life is going to change for better. This video popping up for my channel right now is the next thing to go ahead and watch. So, what are you waiting for?